Look at that, the 100th meridian. You know, for years, this was sort of considered to be, and is still considered to be by some, to be the dividing line between the arid west, off to the west there, and the more rainfall prone moisture east, which is out in that direction. As you can see right here, though, it's all pretty pretty sparse with uh, some short grass prairie, some other species uh, here predominating but a very geographically significant meridian, the 100th meridian. You know, back in 1890, one of the census uh, figures uh, said that, you know, this is the end of the frontier. This is the closing of the frontier because now we've got a lot of people out that way, out to the west, so there's really no frontier line anymore. So lots of uh, significantly historical things in the continental United States anyway, uh, about the 100th meridian. Very cool. And there's one of the prairie potholes. This is glacial terrain I'm standing on right now. So there's one of the prairie potholes. Very significant for uh, for the wildlife in this area now to um, I get some water and also for local livestock, but also for migratory birds. You can even see some right up there uh, in the horizon if that's not too faint. But uh, prairie potholes, excellent. See my other video that I actually walked on a dry prairie pothole and and film. Get out there and explore the world. That's the main that's the main thing. Thanks.